So you and I have talked in the past before that we think that Oculus's main motivation is not to sell hardware or games. Um, at least they I want your they data. Don't. They do. They do. They want. They want your. They want your data, and they also. I think their main their main push is like you know like horizons like they want they want to be the social hub in VR. Um, they, sure. they see they want to dominate it just like they dominated social media for so long and still do in many ways. You know I think and that's why I think they're investing so heavily in this because they really are the only ones. But I wonder if it is eventually going to end up like the Netflix situation where it's not in their benefit anymore. Um, you know, if that's their priority to tie themselves too much to one to hardware right now, maybe they feel that the only way that they're going to, you know, make it happen, almost like a Musk move. The only way this is going to happen is if we do it. So they're doing it. They're pushing uh, it forward with their own hardware. But eventually, you know, as the market gets to a certain saturation point and pe or penetration of it, I wonder if Oculus will then then turn around and go, you know, it's in our best interest now, say, for example, to put Facebook Horizons on Sony. Yeah. Like, you know, because it's like the end game is we really want the brand of, of Oculus to be less hardware and, you know, more software and, you know, and services based. I think that's where they're going to head. I think right now they're just using their headsets as the Trojan horse. And that's I mean, and VR needs it. Mm -hmm. And that kind of ties into the conversation. A little bit um, around just them around just them using it to push the headset, whatever it takes to push the headset and VR forward. I think they probably look at it as one and the same because who else is doing it? Yeah.